very clever. I look like a dog. Who am I? I'm very small. I'm usually white in color. I love to eat carrots. Who am I? I live on the branches of trees. I jump from tree to tree. I have a long tail. Who am I? I have stripes on my body. I am the national animal of India. Who am I? I am called king of the forest. Camels live in harsh areas, so they have certain adaptations that let them cope with their environment. There are two rows of long eyelashes that help keep sand and dust out and a third clear inner eyelid that allows them to keep sand out but still see in a sandstorm. Camels have quite small ears but good hearing and the ears have hairs inside to help keep the dust out. They are able to close their nostrils in order to keep sand out of their noses. They have a split lip which they use like fingers to strip leaves off the trees. Their thick coat reflects sunlight to keep them cool in the desert. The camel's long legs help to keep their bodies further away from the hot ground and they have large soft feet so they all sink into the sand. They have two toes on each foot joined by a tough web and leathery padded soles. Camels walk by moving both legs on each side of their bodies at the same time. And this rolling action sometimes gives them the name Ships of the Desert. Camels have long and bushy eyelashes to keep out the sand and the sun. Their stilt like nostril helps to open and close to prevent sand getting inside. They have leathery mouth, tough for chewing thorny plants. They have leathery patches on their knees. They have two-toed feet with thick leathery pads. Camels have strong stubby thighs and their humps are filled with fat.
Hello? Who are you? I am the ship of the desert. Who are you? <laughs> Don't you know me? I am the king of the forest. Is it? Are you? Oh, I see. Hmm. You call yourself the ship of the desert, is it? How can you be a ship? You are an animal. Of course. I am an animal. But people call me the ship of the desert. I can walk across the desert even on a hot afternoon. The sand burns but it doesn't bother me. Uh-huh. I cannot believe it. Oh lion. Can you walk across the desert? Uh, no, I can't. But I can run in the forest. <laughs> I sure every animal can do that. I alone can run on the sand. Every animal can run in the forest. Remember, but I alone can run on sand. I can run on sand at 25 kilometers an hour. Oh, I see. How can you do that? Look at my feet. They are thick and padded. The hot sun does not burn them. Okay, okay. My feet are padded too. Thorns don't break them. And I can run 80 kilometers an hour. That's true. You can run 80 kilometers an hour in the forest. But can you run a mile on the hot sand? Maybe not. Dear lion, and you cannot live without water for a week. Can you? Oh, Papa, no, no, I cannot. I need water every day. But don't tell me you can do without water. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I can. There are no rivers or lakes in the desert. But that does not bother me at all. I can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. Oh, my God! Then you must have a big stomach. Yes, yes. I have a big stomach. I can store water for a week. Okay, now you tell. Can you store food for two weeks? Ah? Uh, what is that? Do you store food in your stomach? I eat a lot of food at one time. Then I don't need to eat for a fortnight. Fortnight means two weeks. I need not eat. Oh, I see. That's very interesting. But what do you eat? Mmm, I'll tell you. I eat leaves. But there are no trees in a desert. If there are no trees in the desert, 
Then what do you need there? There are thorny bushes in the desert. I eat the thorns. As I have thick tongue, the thorny bushes don't prick my thick tongue. Oh, no. how funny! Hmm. Mr. King of the Forest, please come with me to the desert. Then you'll know. Ah, no, no, I would better not. I cannot walk on burning sand. I can't store food and water, and I can't eat thoughts. That's nice meeting you. Goodbye and good luck, Mr. Sheep of the Desert. Bye bye. See you, Mr. King of the Forest. For how many weeks can a camel store food in its hump? A camel can store food for two weeks in its hump. Why is the camel called the ship of the desert? Camel is called the ship of the desert because he can walk on the burning sand easily. He can live without food and water in the desert for many days. What does the camel eat in the desert? A camel eats thorny bushes in the desert. Name the ship of the desert. Camel is the ship of the desert. Name the king of the forest. Lion is the king of the forest. How are the feet of the camel? The feet of the camel are thick and padded. Homophones Homophones are pairs of words that sound the same but have distinctly different meanings and different spellings. Here we will be learning few homophones. I I am a girl. I have two eyes. India is our country. She was late by an hour. Week. There are seven days in a week. This old man is weak. Need. My sister needs flour every day. You need to take care of your health. C. C looks calm and cool. We see with our eyes. Here. I am sitting here in this corner. I can hear your voice. Not. I like, I like to tie a knot. knot. We you should, should not, not tell, tell lies. lies. Eight. I ate a, a banana. banana. I, I have, have eight, eight chocolates. chocolates. Oh. oh! Switch, Switch off, off the light when not in use. use. 
Hope you enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching.